Hey, what's up? It's Connor. The M2 Pro MacBook Pros just released not too long ago, and there's been a lot of Mac releases in general. So I figured this is a great time to talk about the most important part to any Mac experience or just computer experience in general, and that is apps. I'll be sharing with you some of my favorite apps that I rely on literally every single day to get work done on my Mac, and then just make the Mac experience better overall. The first app up on this list is one that you might have already heard about, and that's Clean My Mac X. Clean My Mac X replaces dozens of optimization tools for Mac. It can also be anything you tell it to be a Mac OS cleaner, a performance monitor, a malware remover, and really just a lifesaver. Clean My Mac X chases junk in all corners of your Mac OS. It cleans unneeded files like outdated caches, broken downloads, logs, and useless localization. You can remove tons of clutter that lurks in iTunes mail and photos, and even locate gigabytes of large hidden files. I use this app every single day after the workday is done to make sure that all my files are managed. Everything that needs to get deleted gets deleted and that my Mac is staying up to speed. The next app up is iBoySoft, who is the sponsor of this video with their app, Magic Menu. Magic Menu is a small tool to help customize and enhance the right-click menu on your Mac. It allows adding new and improved functionalities to your right-clicking control panel, such as one-click to create files on your desktop or in an open folder, one-click screenshot to record your screen, and right-click to quickly move files to specified locations without copying. And probably the most important part, which is being able to to add any frequently used items like applications, folders, disks, browsers, and web page links to get quick access to them without having to use Finder, Spotlight, or Launchpad. Take better control of your right click menu on your Mac by clicking the link in the description and huge thanks to iBoySoft for sponsoring this video. Next up is an app called Magnet and it essentially fixes the biggest flaw and Mac OS, and that is window management. Magnet allows you to snap your apps into windows by dragging, customize shortcuts, or via the menu bar. Magnet's biggest advantage though is allowing you to customize the keyboard shortcuts to whatever you like, making window management so much easier. This next app can also help you fly through Mac OS, and it is called Hotkey. Hotkey is an app that lives in your menu bar, and it essentially allows you to add and create keyboard shortcuts to open all your applications or specific files and folders. I have dedicated the option key and then the first letter to every app name to open those specific apps. So for example, I have option E to open up my email app, option F to open up Finder, option V to do some video editing and Final Cut Pro, and I think you get the point. It's a really simple app that makes it easy to jump from all your different apps and takes multitasking to another level. And I honestly don't think I could go without it. Now we all write and type things out, whether it's research papers, notes, or scripts and presentations. And this app has essentially perfected that experience of writing slash typing. And that is IA Writer. IA Writer mimics the same experience as you would have with a blank sheet of paper and a pen or pencil. But actually, better yet, it mimics the exact way it would be with a blank sheet of paper and a typewriter. In IA Writer, everything comes together to provide a crisp and uncluttered environment where you can gather all your notes, think clearly, and write everything down that you need to write down. The UI is extremely minimal and basic, and it's also got some serious powerful features under the hood, such as markdown, linking separate notes, pictures and link support, and having everything sync over iCloud, which can really help elevate and take your writing experience to a whole nother level. I use this app for literally everything from scripting long YouTube videos to doing something as simple as Instagram captions. I literally use this app for everything. Next up, we have Mock View. Now, I really don't think there's a better way to help present or show something off besides through mockups. And sometimes mockups can get kind of expensive to purchase or become really hard to create but this app makes everything so much easier. Mock View is an easy and smooth way of creating 3D and video mockups across different iPhones, MacBooks, iMacs, and all other Apple devices. It's a simple way of creating mockups for your designs, content creations, and so much more. It offers all the latest Apple devices, and all you gotta do is just drag and drop your photo or video into the app, and then just hit download. The only real downside to this app is through the free version as you're stuck with a watermark or logo, but if you purchase the subscription, that goes away. Exiles is an app that lets you unload your thoughts by creating a personal layout with notes, links, and media in a second, allowing you to visualize your creative working process by mixing and matching pieces of info to deep dive and nurture your ideas. You can also go ahead and share your projects or idea publicly or even collaborate with a team in real time. This app has become my all-in-one place for notes, to-do lists, mood board, calendar, portfolio, presentations, and so much more. And by far the best part about this app is how easy and seamless it is to create a task 
task list to make sure that you're staying on top of everything that you have going on for every part of your life. And you can take this list with you no matter where you are as you're able to download this app on every platform or even just open it through an internet browser of your choice. Speaking of brainstorming, a to-do list falls into that same category. And let me tell you, if I didn't have a to-do list, my life would probably fall apart. My to-do list of choice is Things 3. Now, Things 3 is a little bit expensive, but I guarantee you it's well worth it for the price as it's probably the best to-do list app that you can find on not just the Mac, but also iPhone, iPad, and even Apple Watch. You can add notes, tag them, schedule them, and break them down into smaller steps. You can create a project for any big goal and then add small to-do lists just to help reach it. You can use headings to structure your list as you outline your plan. And there's also a place to jot down notes and a deadline to keep you on schedule. There are so many powerful features in this app and I really don't think I could use any other to-do list this one is just perfect. Dropover is the next app up on this list and it kind of took me a while to get used to this app, but once I got used to it and added it into my workflow, it changed everything. Dropover is a macOS utility that makes drag and drop so much easier. You can stash, gather, and move draggable content without having to open a side-by-side -side window. All you gotta do is shake your cursor and a little shelf will pop up right beside your cursor and you can drop whatever you're planning on moving onto that shelf and then simply navigate to your next destination and move all your items at once. This app just essentially allows you to move a bunch of files, whether they're photos, videos, text files, and put them all on a little shelf and then store them in that shelf until you find that next location you wanna move those files to eventually move to. This app has been great if you wanna move a lot of content back and forth, and it really has taken over the traditional copy and paste as you can add a bunch of things to this little shelf and the shelf is there visually so you always know where it is and you always know what you want to move to that next location. This last app up on this list has been extremely useful over the last couple of months as it essentially allows me to use my Mac Studio really wherever I have an internet connection. Screens is essentially a remote desktop app that allows you to log into another Mac, Windows, or Linux device, whether you're on the same network or a different network. There's multiple display support and a curtain mode so that nobody can see what you're doing, and then also the ability to share files back and forth via drag and drop or copy and paste. I recently did pick up the M2 Pro MacBook Pro, and I absolutely love this machine, and it's extremely powerful, but it's not as powerful as my desktop Mac being the M1 Ultra Mac Studio. And because I leave all my files on external hard drives, I can access that external hard drive, drag and drop to my MacBook Pro, and then work off those files from my native Mac. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for my top 10 favorite Mac apps. Let me know what your favorite Mac app is as I'm always looking to add new ones to my workflow. And every app that I did talk about in this video will be linked in the description down below. If you guys liked this video, make sure to give it a like and share it to a friend. And if you like Apple tech and desk setup related content, make sure to subscribe. And until next time, peace.